know you can't push this car very easy. Would that be the converter? Wouldn't cause that, would it? No. I wonder what's in the... It's gotta be in the transmission. Rear end spin's easy. Could be. I mean, like, it's... It's tight. Like, it only got... One point... One five seconds in. Yeah. It only got to 8,000. Mm -hmm. They're usually at, like... 9,000 something way before that. Because you can see like the boost yeah. slowly ramps like that. Like the whole idea is to try and get it sooner. You yeah. know what I mean? Dump valve that's got a manual one over there. It's up. It's open. It's well, open. Or the what? The uh, it's got a manual adjustment on it. Yeah, I didn't mess with the manual adjustment, but I, the dump that itself is working. Yeah. <laughs> and that should override those little regulators that you adjust, right? When you man it's, uh, it, it, it's in it. One of them. One of the knobs is the actual dump valve and the other knob is like a constant drain bleed or whatever bleed. you want to call it. Yeah. I don't remember what the like which way the knobs go on that. Yeah. Bigger number is looser or smaller number is looser. I always have to call them yep. and ask because I can't remember I which too. way. Hold the damn thing can't remember. <laughs> For some reason I think it's backwards to how you'd think yes. that it works. I think you're right. Just shipped it in the third, and then you left it. So it did two, three. But then it's off. The two and three. I laid it off. You can go higher on the two change. But I thought that it would normally be. Or still so fast. It's a one sixty. The first gear was one point six five seconds out. You said it back up. We're already at 9200, almost 9300 on the 23 change. And the converter's not going to cooperate with us if we ship it. Yeah. I doubt that that's going to make as much of a difference. The one thing that I can tell is the engine itself kind of sounds flat. And that's more like if it was set up to be like if that was a roots or a screw engine before. The camshaft that they use is different, it doesn't have as much overlap, it's not as like rompy of a camshaft. That <clears throat> is a big deal on a, a centrifugal supercharger because a roots or a screw can't surge. It puts it in and if it tries to come back out it just it can't, it, it can't physically do it. A centrifugal com uh, compressor, since it's not physically like sealing against the outside of anything and it's not positive displacement, if it can it'll try and go back out the front of the compressor and that's what that that chattering that you see is. So it's an airflow thing, meaning like potentially changing the camshaft in the engine might help alleviate some of that. That's actually one of the bigger developments, I think, on the ProCharge stuff in the past few years, especially with running the big ones. It's cubic inch and like being able to get air in and out of the engine, even if it's slightly wasting some of the boost, if you will. It stops it from surging, which is better. Hold it to live 
at or, uh, lock up at 2.8, which is just before the gear change happens. So they're probably only locked like over here, you know what I mean? But I didn't want to have it happen while it should be. I didn't know, like usually it's five tenths, but I don't know if that should take that place. And it's got 10% slip out here, so if you're gonna feel it like block and it's not a soft one. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna let you talk to the gentleman here. Oh. Hey, this is Cameron, what's going on? Uh, it's about where I would expect it to be out, you know, like on the one two change and you know, all that kind of stuff. Is it, that's about right. Um, it does have about, uh, let me get it right without messing mess with the lock up. Uh, out at the very end, it's got 10% slip, so I feel like it could be a little bit tighter than that because the lock up on this thing just kills it. So, sure, yeah. Actually, like, just because of how RPM sensitive this thing is, like, I wouldn't even dare to try and lock it up in first gear. Because I tried to lock it up in high, and it lost, uh, went from 48 pounds of boost to 40 pounds of boost. So I lost 8 pounds of boost the moment the lock it up. And it lost power on the back, too. Um, but at, like, 4 tenths, it's only, like, 5,900 RPM, and I had zero power management. everything she got. And I'm usually used to seeing these things being like 7,200 or something by around that time. You know what I mean? Uh, I honestly, just the way that it looks right now, I don't think so. I mean, because it does, this doesn't have um, like a, what I would call like a soft lock or anything like that, where it can actually have like less pressure on the lockup, or maybe they may they might need to mess with the stack of like how the clutches are stacked. Um, Yeah, the applied pressure, it just goes to full line pressure. So like it's it's aggressive, like very aggressive. So with the way that it sits right now and how much either clutch it has or, you know, whatever, I, I would try and lock it up in first gear. It's just gonna knock the wind out of it. Um, but uh, it's definitely got like a long kind of drawn out uh, flash, I guess if you wanna call it like that. It, it's not quite as vertical just looks wise as I would like to see it especially you know, I, we do a lot of these here so I kind of have like a, a pretty good idea of what the fast ones look like um, and th this one's all it's just laid over a little too far if that makes any sense absolutely yeah I just don't have the mess right now I don't have the tools to be able to do that so for example um, some of them are basically like a call it like a T in the lockup circuit, you can like have an orifice in there and bleed off the pressure. So instead of, I don't know, 250 pounds of pressure, you get 100 or 90 or whatever. Um, I don't have one of those on this transmission. And then as far as messing with the clutch pack, they can do that, but we can't do that right now with the amount of time that we have. So it, it's kind of, at least right now, it's a little too aggressive and it just kind of like, it, it just pulls the, pulls the wind out of it. Although, I do agree, like I think if you had the, other, you know, maybe if it had less clutches in it, or if it had less pressure, might be able to do locking up in first 